Introducing Win Hair and Body Care, a natural holistic method of cleansing your hair suited for all hair types and people. The perfect replacement for your ordinary shampoo. That is, if you want to be Kai Ball before you reach your latter years. Stylist Chaz Dean thought he was doing something when he introduced his highly raved and innovative method of hair washing. Say goodbye to lather and hello to moisture on top of moisture. When hair care was all the rave back in the 2000s, peaking around the mid 2010s, celebrity ambassadors like Brooke Shields and Alyssa Milano swore up and down that Wynn was the holy grail hair care brand. If you wanted your hair to go from drab to fab, over time, we began to see Chaz, his QVC time slot, and a list of celebrity endorsements less and less. And before we all knew it, Win by Chaz Dean was merely a thought, if that. So what happened to the miracle hair care brand that was once so highly sought after? Well, allegedly being a Win girly came with a few side effects, including scalp irritation, skin rashes, and hair loss that resulted in a hefty lawsuit and the tarnishing of Chaz Dean's reputation. This is why we no longer hear about when. Quick POV, the year is 2009 to 2015. It's around 2 a.m., you're bored sitting on the couch, remote in hand, AC on Antarctic cold, blankets snug tight, flipping through the channels on your TV with some of your favorite snacks sprawled across your lap. You stumble across the QVC channel, and for the billionth time, they're showing the hottest hair care brand on the market, Win Hair Care. Do you reach for your wallet, grab that phone, and finally give in to Win's promises of reviving your hair via a no poo method? Or do you watch Alyssa Milano try to sell you a dream while admiring from afar? For many viewers, Win Hair Care was that staple product that just might have been the solution to all their hair problems. Tired of straw like, brittle, dry, limp, lifeless hair? Try Win Cleansing Conditioner. With an array of options, Chaz's revolutionizing cleansing conditioners promised to be the answer to all your hair questions. But Chaz himself ended up answering even more questions when he was hit with a class action lawsuit from hundreds of consumers all over the states with thousands of complaints worldwide claiming that Chaz and his Botox were responsible for their hair going to war with the sink and shower drain. Before Chaz was giving us botanical herb realness, he was merely a youngin' with a dream and well, well, executed plan before it all went to hell in a handbasket. Raised in between New Jersey and Pennsylvania, it wouldn't be till around the age of 13 and 14 that Shots and his family decided to uproot and move to Semi Valley, California. Unbeknownst to him, this would be the beginning of his forever when Chaz, a philanthropist amongst all else, introduced his curly girl method, oop, approach to hair care came as an extension of his own life philosophy. Natural is the way to be, kinda. Cause from what I read on the ingredients, a good chunk of those ingredients are anything but. Within his products, designs, and in his work, Chaz promotes a conscious approach to beauty, which is why his early beginnings make perfect sense. A whole photographer. By the age of 19, on the brink of official adulthood, Chaz stepped out on a whim and decided to shoot his shot at becoming a professional photographer. He started out by taking photography courses all through his high school years, and upon graduating, took on a commercial course. His skills weren't bad, but Chaz thought something, very much something, was missing. His models were aight, but the hair and makeup were blah. He was missing the ability to accomplish hairstyles he envisioned, as well as the makeup looks. Sure, he could explain to a stylist what he wanted, but it never truly came out exactly how Chaz envisioned it. To beauty school it is. Talk about being a perfectionist. After enrolling in beauty school, Chaz came out on the other end ready to slay. He was now a skilled photographer, makeup artist, and stylist. The only thing missing were the opportunities. A salon somewhere way up yonder in LA. Determined to get his foot in the door at his first salon, Chaz completed their hairstylist assistant program in the early 90s and decided to put his heart and soul into learning everything there was to know about possibly becoming a professional hairstylist. Eventually, he had climbed the ranks to be promoted to manager by the age of 22. As his clientele grew, he boldly approached the salon owners to create a deep condition for their product collection. Noticing they didn't have one, the owners agreed, and before they knew it, they had one of their best sellers in the salon. Chaz himself only getting a penny. Yes, a penny per bottle sold. Ridiculous? Maybe. But in Chaz's eyes, a win was a win. 
Years passed and the owners of the salon bounced, leaving the salon in Chaz's hands to renovate and do as he pleased. Chaz built the salon back up, renamed it the Chaz Dean Salon before relocating and re-renaming the salon to Chaz Dean Studios. Chaz Dean Studios was set apart due to what would later be famously or infamously known as his go-to cleansing conditioning system. Chaz himself used to shampoo his hair twice a day. After noticing lathering shampoo created a cycle of unbalanced, oily scalp and dry hair, he set off to find a better way to cleanse the hair without damaging it. Years passed and Chaz accomplished what he set out to do, revamping the natural collection he came up with back when he was just a wee manager working for somebody else. Now at his own official salon studio, Chaz Dean Studio set itself apart by staying true to Chaz's own beliefs of not using lather, bleach, or hot tools. Can y'all believe it? Not a single curling or straight iron? Just round brushes and Chaz's magic touch. Let Dean tell it, he gave up lather way back in May of 1993, creating the first ever five-in-one product that acted as a shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, detangler, and leave-in conditioner. As you'd imagine, removing lather was a radical concept at the time, but surprisingly, the cleansing conditioner quickly took off when clients began to see how healthy their hair had become after using it. Chaz's bungalow retreat styled salon would become the origin where he'd introduce Wynn Hair and Body Care. Accompanying its cleansing conditioners, Wynn also offers leave-ins, styling mousse, and others. Mindy Cohn, one of many high prolific clients Chaz had the pleasure of styling, was probably the first domino that set off the domino effect of Wynn users. Back when Wynn was merely a thought, Mindy insisted that she'd spread the word to her other friends like Angelina Jolie and Halle Berry, you know, Nothing major. Believe it or not, that was way back in the year 2000. In 2004, he hosted an Emmy-style lounge at his salon where Terry Hatcher and Marsha Cross were spotted in attendance right before the launch of Desperate Housewives. Terry supposedly loved Wynn so much so that she and Chaz set up a house account for the entire Housewives cast and invited Chaz to her 40th B-Day even that year when he got the chance to meet Eva Longoria and introduce her to the product as well. 2005, Chaz got the opportunity to make a gift basket for Big O herself, Oprah Winfrey, who gave Chaz the ultimate confidence booster after spotting him holding the basket. Those products look amazing, Oprah boasted. This was the nudge Chaz needed in order to finally fill out that QVC application he'd been sitting on for the longest. On March 27, 2005, the QVC asked him to meet them on April 4th, and before he knew it, Chaz was given the opportunity to launch Win in August of 2005. Win by Chaz Dean would soon enough become the hottest hair care on the market. It was everywhere, everywhere all at once. From the QVC time slot, which you think how much they showcase Chaz and his products, he owned the network, to the celebrity studded infomercials featuring Alyssa Milano and Brooke Shields, who became the official Win Ambassador in 2015. Some of Chaz's other celebrity clientele include the likes of Angie Harmon, Nicolette Sheridan, Holly Robinson Pete, Ming Na Wen, Nicole Murphy, Gwyneth Paltrow, Christina Applegate, and more. When mostly known for their different options of cleansing conditioners, were the talk of the town, the hottest thing on the market, and a newfound revolutionized method to washing one's hair without the strip. It was huge. Then suddenly it was night. Although the infamous Win commercial seemed to be nothing more than something you scroll past while trying to get to the show you're actually trying to watch, little by little, the decrease in Win infomercials were subtle but noticed. You probably didn't think anything of it at all, or you might have thought that Win ran its course and didn't need any more promotion. But come to find out, Win was actually doing the reverse of what it claims to do. Instead of making the hair more shiny, healthy, and vibrant, over 21,000 customers were losing hair faster than a stressed out mom with 50 11 kids. The girls and guys were going bald. And I mean bald. People's scalps were being irritated, and overall, it just wasn't a good experience. The Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, launched an investigation into Win hair products in 2014 after getting a swarm of complaints, the most they'd ever received for a product or products associated with a cosmetic hair cleansing product. Eight months prior to the FDA getting involved, 
more than 200 people, mostly women in 40 states, joined in on their chance to get to that easy bang. I mean, joined in on a class action lawsuit in California's federal court, claiming that the products cause severe hair damage, including bald spots, rashes, irritation, hair loss, dryness, and breakage. In the suit, it alleged that Wynn's conditioners contained more active ingredients that act as a depilatory or caustic agent, causing a chemical reaction that damages the hair strands and or follicle. Unfortunately, popular cosmetic and personal care brands are largely unregulated before reaching the marketplace, so it doesn't come as a surprise that this snuck through the cracks. In October of 2016, Wynn agreed to settle out of court for a whopping $26 million without admitting any wrongdoing. In fact, Wynn and them swear they've done everything right. I believe 99.9% .9 what all the testing we had done and selling close to 40 million cleansing conditioners, Wynn was completely safe. But I decided to step forward and engage in every test possible to prove to our customers that Wynn could not possibly cause hair loss. This was a long process because each time the world-renowned scientist professionals would approach me with new tests we could embark upon, I would agree to enter into testing, hoping that with each negative test result we received, Received, it would give our customers people reassurance that Wynn was not only safe, but also one of the most tested products on the market. Wynn's attorney states that the only reason the lawsuit was settled was purely for business reasons. They determined that it'd be more expensive to pay defense costs than it would have been to settle. We firmly believe we would have won the case at trial, especially considering that we have never been presented with any evidence or legitimate scientific theory showing that the product could cause hair loss. All testing has shown that the product is safe. Disregarding the pricey settlement, believe it or not, thousands, if not millions of reviews and customers since its birth in the 2000s have claimed the opposite. Like literally any other product to have ever been created, some people love when, some hate it, and others, well, obviously, for some others, they were left looking like Mr. Clean. Wynn's naysayers can't quite pinpoint an exact reason for such a negative reaction to the products. It could be an ingredient, preservative, or perhaps the overall formula could be straight dumpster juice. It's blatant that the Wynn Cleansing Conditioner is a fancy, glamorized way of capitalizing and selling what the natural hair girls have been doing and using for years. Co-washing is nothing new for those with three or four type curly, coily hair. You're basically cleansing your hair with a conditioner instead of your regular shampoo. No lather, just moisture. If Wynn's cleansing conditioners are nothing more than a fancy co-wash with the majority of the product being conditioner based from what we know, it's no wonder some of half of y'all's hair were coming out of your brushes. Just imagine the buildup over time of using conditioner and conditioner only to wash your hair. After a while, you'll need an actual cleansing agent to rid of buildup. And what happens when your scalp's experience too much buildup? Irritation can occur. And yes, hair loss can follow. Despite the negative media attention and backlash, surprisingly, many others were still team win till this day. The QVC has yet to give Chaz the boot. Whether you love or hate it, you can't deny the global impact win by Chaz Dean had on the hair care gurus. Over 40 million sold, Wynn has expanded to over 350 products, including lip care, fragrance, home, kids, men's, and even pet care. In 2020, it took home QVC's Beauty Award wins for Best Shampoo, Best Treatment, Best Hairspray, Lotion, Tanner, Men's Product, and the QVC Icon Award. Spokesperson Joe Hickson even sent a statement to Today, stressing how small Wynn's complaints were compared to the number of products sold. His reputation may have been damaged just a bit, a tad, a lot. As of today, Wynn is still out here coming up with new ways to keep Wynn's loyal fan base on their toes a new styling tool similar to the Revlon blow dryer and round brush attachment. There hasn't been any official order to stop selling the hair care brand. The QVC also earns a lot of money from selling these products. Maybe because people aren't really buying from QVC like they once were? Shade aside, there are many reasons why individuals lose their hair. Perhaps a lather-free alternative ain't the way for everybody, which is perfectly fine which is why it's best to listen to your scalp and not jump on bandwagons you have no business being on. Win by Chaz Dean still continues to sell, although low key, and Chaz insists that his cleansing conditioners are safe. Have you tried any Win products? If so, what was your experience like? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments and stay tuned for more true celebrity stories.